put in there. Yeah. I just heard that the other day. I never knew. It's, uh, <laughs> That's a big jello thing. It's, I don't think it's that. I'm hoping that would be that. Because I apparently I we're going to do it for that. I don't know for sure if it's the SD card. But I know there's something. Just a there. reference. There's another one I want a little bit of come up with too. And this, they're not this is cast this is cast iron. Yeah. I just heard somebody use I'm the I'm other not day sure. about that. So I'm not so sure. That's it. It's like well, I want to try it with that one, but I'll see at the jeweler case. Yeah. <laughs> I'll look it up though. Okay. Well I've been here so far away. She's just <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> She's quarantined us. I am trying to date. <laughs> okay. Hi there. It's 4.02 maybe on uh, Monday, May 20th. I call the City Housing Commission together. Um, and I'll do a roll here, uh, Yolanda Roberts, Mario Ruiz, here, and Gary Susich, here, and Matt Wissing, the chair, I'm here, so we have a quorum. Uh, we have a double header today, <laughs> as they say in baseball, when you miss one, you mm. do two on one day. So we'll first do the minutes of the March meeting. Um, I don't know if people have a chance to read through them yet, but. Yolanda, did you need a copy? I was, I do, so I can look it up on the phone. Oh, I can, I've got extra copies. Me feel useful. If there's no questions um, from the March meeting or uh, corrections, I'll ask for approval of that. So move. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the minutes of the March meeting. All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. And then we'll go over the reports for both March and April. We can do these at the same time. Is yep. that right, Destiny? Well, we'll need two different motions, but. Uh, I don't think so. Nothing that I can think of. Um, the heritage you might see some more, probably not in March, maybe into April, we had to do our REAC inspection, all of, fix everything in the building. Throughout, we had to do go throughout every unit and fix everything. So our maintenance costs were probably a little bit higher um, when they charge those back. But otherwise, I think everything's been going as usual. Did that reinspection happen? And did hasn't you, happened yet. Oh, it hasn't happened. No, okay. no. We turned everything in, and but we haven't heard back. They when made our it sound like it was, and maybe they. Yeah, did. and maybe I. They do that just to. Right, sure and I asked the project manager from HUD, and she said that she hasn't heard anything as to when they're scheduling okay. it yet. So, we're still waiting. Speaking of maintenance, have your maintenance guys? shouldn't say just guys I don't know maybe they're <laughs> your maintenance people I try to be inclusive um, have they gotten called down on uh, flood duty oh yeah okay. yeah I thought it was all hands on deck yeah. from what yeah. I understand yep so I yeah. didn't know it's slowed down a little bit now for them but yeah they were 
going crazy there for a while because then we had our our inspection too that they were working on so yeah okay. they were very busy the month of I april i know a lot of that stay i mean they they multiply <laughs> yeah i think it's more streets and sewers that handle a lot of the flood work but i think they do more of like the um ballpark and some yeah. areas that they're responsible for that's why i haven't called in any uh, <laughs> street projects because i know everybody's down yeah everybody was down on flood duty yep now yes. i think they're trying to clean up but then there was a second wave coming through or something so <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> sometimes it's, it's coming right okay if there's no questions on the march financial report i'll ask for a motion to approve that so moved is there a second? Second. <laughs> okay, it's been moved and seconded to approve the March financial report. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, same sign. Hearing none, we'll move on to the occupancy report. I want to do April financials. Oh, you want to do that right now? To, okay. Yeah. Or I guess that's totally up to you. I have them just oh, in order to do one after the have, other. Yes. You've got the paperwork there. We'll go on to, I know they were the same on the, yeah, I'm just. So what, what was the um, significance of uh, the amount of office supplies and services in March? And the, the um, which program? I am not sure. I can look into it and let you know. Um, this doesn't give me any detail, so I don't remember any major things going on. Um, you didn't get a big new desk or anything? Or? No. <laughs> no. No money for that. <laughs> okay. uh, but yeah, I can check into it and let you know. I just I don't know right off the top of my head of anything that I can come up with. into where the former director, I don't want to say his name. Yeah. Um, I don't know if it was any bigger than your old cubicle. Yeah, because I used to sit out front with Stephanie, so now I have an actual office. Oh, you did. Mm -hmm. Okay, no, that's great. I just hadn't been down there for a while. Yeah. So. And the professional services, what is that? Professional services is where we pay our, um, Ann McAtee, our administrative law judge. Yeah. So April won thirty six dollars and sixty eight cents from the March. Yeah, it's just a just you know, how many hearings we have or we might have had um <coughs> might not have had anything for the heritage that month, but might have had some other ones. It looks like we had some for public housing. Yep. yep. Nothing for section eight, so Apparently that's something we have to do that yes. we as a commission used to do for free, but mm -hmm. yeah. are there any other questions or concerns about the financial report for April okay hearing none I'll ask for acceptance of the approval for the financial report for April all those in uh, favor say aye Do we, have to do we, have, we need an approval for I'll make a motion okay. oh, I'm sorry. second it's been approved and seconded to approve the financial report for April. Um, all those in favor say aye. 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 
Oh, the same sign. Hearing none, we'll move on to the occupancy report for March. We're continuing to um, pull people from our waiting list for Section 8, uh, trying to get our numbers up. We've kind of been breaking even with our terminations and leasing up new people, but we are um, pulling from the waiting list still. We've been doing that for a few months now. Um, as of April 10th, public housing was 100% leased up and we had two vacancies in Heritage. Um, and then that changed a little bit the next month, but that's what we have for March and April. Just to tell you how little the general public knows about that. When some people were displaced during the flooding, um, I overheard some people talking and 10 minutes of talk radio a day is all I can uh, stand. But they said, oh, let's put them into public housing. That's where all, everybody lives. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we did get calls, but unfortunately we don't have any oh, type of emergency ex assistance. Exactly. So. I, well, and there's no place to put them. No. I mean, for our, no. for either. And, you know, which I guess is a good thing and a bad thing. But, yeah. Uh, we wish we could help more, but. Yes, uh, I just wanted to point that out that <laughs> the general public doesn't realize that. Yeah. We have about a thousand people on our waiting list. Is it? That's mm -hmm. what it, yeah, I, I know it was a big number. Yeah. But so. Are you looking? Okay, we just had somebody move out of that unit. Um, it's actually been rehabbed and ready for lease, leasing now. She was actually going to show somebody that unit this week. And then the two units in the Heritage are different from the month before. So those two from the month before have already been leased up. And now they're working on rehabbing these two. Um, uh, 1010 moved out on his own. Um, don't remember his reasoning for sure. 207, I don't remember. I'll have to try and remember to write these down for you guys because I don't remember circumstances for each one. I don't work one-on-one -on -one with the tenants because it's Kelly Holman is our housing coordinator for the heritage. So of course she'd be able to tell you exactly, but um, I know who the tenant was in 1010, but I don't remember the other three for sure. How's um, crime down there? I know that was a concern for a couple of years. Like between tenants or like general public well I mean the general public coming in maybe between tenants and just yeah, we've had a lot just this <laughs> last people. just this last week has been awful with tenants um, we haven't had many issues with the general public but this last week we did have several incidents with police coming down um, at the heritage is nets unit still helping out yep uh, yeah we work with Andrew Harris Mm -hmm. okay. Yep, and he comes to our tenant meetings. We just had tenant meetings a few weeks ago, um, and we have police, fire, and pest control come and talk to the tenants. And so Harris is the one that comes down and okay. talks from police. But yeah, they're very helpful. They've been great to work with, and um, we always get a response from them. Good, because I remember a few years back there was a lot of people leaving because of crime issues and uh, I think the police got more proactive. Yeah, I think, well, I think the issue is, I mean, we have all different ages. It's not just elderly. I, I 
from what I hear, right. it used to be all elderly. I don't know. It's always been disabled, handicapped, elderly well, since I've been the there. Cri that's the criteria. Yeah, and so um, unfortunately, you know, we work with a lot of different disabilities and, um, you know, it's just all realms of people and we have 120 units. It's hard for everybody to get along. Oh, and sure. <laughs> um, so we've, this last week was bad. We had a bad week, but Anything we had to do a clear and present danger on one tenant. We have a termination hearing on Thursday for that one. Um, police are investigating a couple of them where there was supposedly guns involved. Um, the tenants say that they didn't have guns. Um, we had one case of a tenant taken out that by ambulance he was found unconscious in his apartment and that one's being investigated um, so it's just it was ma it was major things that happened and it just we had police that seemed like there were police there every day last week it was just major things but we're working through them hopefully they don't wake you up in the middle of the night no when I leave work, I've got three kids to take care of. I was of. Gonna say, you're, <laughs> you're busy enough. Yes. Off duty. Unless somebody calls More than me. Busy yeah, unless somebody calls me, I don't think about work when I, or I try not to think about work. Yes, I don't blame you. You, <laughs> you don't get paid enough for what you do. So. <laughs> and we've got good days and bad days like any other job. So. Sure. Right. Right. Usually it's not as bad as it was last week. Last yeah. week just happened to be a bad week. When as I said, a family of five can have right. <laughs> good days and bad days with kids. Yep, and, there is. And spouses and, uh, and all that stuff. People in general. And yes. people in general, right. But that's a lot in, uh, a lot in the mix. So. Okay, well, I, are there any other questions on the occupant? Occupancy. Um, I guess I'll move first for the March report. Yeah, it says April 10th at the top and then March at the bottom. It's different reports for different programs. Yes, I believe we have to do March 1st. So I'll, is that a uh, I'll second confirmation for March? Move by Yolanda. <laughs> 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 And Mario second, is that correct? Correct. All those in favor uh, for the March report on occupancy say aye. 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 Opposed? Hearing none. And then on to April, I think we pretty much covered both at the same time. So being correct here, I'll ask for uh, a motion to approve the April uh, occupancy report. Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the occupancy report for April. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, same sign. Hearing none, that's approved. Now on to the resolutions here. So the first resolution I have is to support an increase in the minimum rent for our scattered site public housing program. Um, right now our ACOP, which is the admission and continued occupancy policy, states that the minimum rent should be $25. However, our um, minimum rent for Section 8 increased to $50 um, a number of years ago. and this program has been working with that rate of minimum rate of $50, but it was never updated in our ACOP. So it's totally up to you guys what you decide to do. Um, but we have been running the program with a minimum rent of $50. So this resolution would just put it in our ACOP to be correct with what we're actually doing in our office. However, if you guys decline to do that, then we will have, we'll change everybody down to $25. Um, but we have been running it with a minimum rent of $50, and that's what our uh, Section 8 program is as well. So how many years have we? I don't know for sure when the resolution was changed to $50 for Section 8. 
I just know that um, the ACAP for Section 8 does state $50. Um, our, in our program, we have $50 minimum for public housing as well, but and the resolution may have been changed at that time. I haven't been able to find it, and it was not changed. It was not updated in the ACOP for public housing, so I had to bring this resolution before you guys um, in order to change it or change the program. Yeah, the reason I was asking if it caused any disruption. Yeah. No. Yeah, my only question was if it caused a drop off or increase. I, I don't know. Oh, it, I mean, it hasn't changed anything with our public housing program or our Section 8 program at all um, as far as what they're responsible for still plenty of people applying oh yeah I mean it, this and this is not just for their rent this is their rent and their utilities combined so it's not stating that they're gonna have to pay the minimum of this fifty dollars for just rent it gets applied to between their rent and utilities together uh -huh. so even if they're zero income they're still not paying anything out of pocket because it just gets applied to their utilities so if if they've been doing it and nobody come up with a resolution, but they're paying the fifty dollars just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. I think for us to be responsible, we should have this pass. But I would like to know, just just like Jolanda saying, when did we change or when? Whoever changed it, I don't know if we voted on it to change it to fifty dollars without writing a resolution. The resolution was wrote for Section Eight because it's been updated in the ACOP, okay. but I could not find a resolution for public housing, and the ACOP still states twenty-five dollars. So I know. Right. So if there was a resolution at that time with when they did Section Eight, I was unable to find it. But I. I'm assuming that it was approved at one time, and that's when it got changed in our program. It's just that I haven't been able to find the paperwork trail to prove it, and that's where I found this error in our ACAP, and that's why I brought it before you guys, um, because I'm not gonna continue doing something that's not in our ACAP. Um, and if, I, I would assume that it, it was changed when Section 8 was. Um, because we usually try and run the two programs. You know when that was changed? Was I, don't I don't have that information with me. I mean, I could try and find that information, and we could this table this for another meeting if you. Know, you I was yeah. just going to ask if how important it was if we need to do it right away. We've been running the program with a minimum rent of fifty dollars, so it right. hasn't it hasn't done anything at this point. Yeah, I think the right thing is to make them the same, but give yeah. us a, a copy of the one that you from that for you Section can 8. Find it, and then we go from yeah. that. So we have all the information in front of it. Yeah. In front of it. Alright. What are those papers, Gary? Hey? Is that something that was in our packet? Is it, yeah. Um, this is the annual PHA. Plan. Oh, that might be. That's probably from last month. That yeah, that, that's the other one was, yeah. Where we didn't have quorum. Yeah. I didn't put it in this packet because we're not doing it till June because I had to go out for another 45 day oh, okay. comment okay. period. Okay. All right. <laughs> didn't mean to be nosy, but I just yeah. looked at you hey, looking at something you that have more paperwork I didn't have. Uh, yeah, because I copied it off of there and that was all in that one packet. So we can move to table this to the next month if you'd like. Yes. Oh. Yes. yes, it's been moved to. Oh, hold on. Where do we, okay. I guess, do we have to have a motion on that to table it? Well, I don't know. I don't think so. Okay. <laughs> if so, I make a motion to table 
I would because he come up and it's public now. So yeah. let's okay. make a motion. Okay. That's what I thought I was going to ask for Robert's rules of order. <laughs> so R Yolanda made the motion? Yes. I'll to second it. Sausage. Okay. Sausage. Is it sausage? Sausage, yes. Okay. I didn't know how to pronounce it. All right. Um, so for resolution 2019-02, um, we need to open our waiting list for public housing. We need more applications for the two and three bedroom. Um, so this is just a resolution to open it for the month of June, which is specifically June 3rd to June 27th, 2019. Do you have to publish that? Yes. Is that something that... Yeah. We'll post it as much. I mean, we put it in the paper, and then we'll post it on social media as much as we can as well. That was my second question. I, <laughs> I'm still old-fashioned and read. Yeah, we have our <laughs> website, and then I think the city has a Facebook page. I mean, we'll reach out to however, any uh, avenues that we can, and then we do put it in the Quad City Times as well. And they currently have thousands of people on the waiting list? For Section 8. For this is for public housing. We are down to um, right around 20 applications. Oh, that's it? Yeah. I was going to ask you. For public housing. Wow. Yeah. For this size, because okay. the public housing goes by bedroom size, where Section 8 is just open to anybody. Right. Um, the public hou housing is by bedroom size, and we need more applications for the two and three bedroom. We have four bedroom applications as well, but we have enough of those that we don't. We only have two four bedroom units, so we have ample amount of applications for the four bedroom, but we just need to open it up for two and three bedrooms. Remind me again, when someone comes in to apply, do they ask them how many bedrooms they need? We will have to for this one. We want it normally if it was just open, uh -huh. um, but we will have to for this because they have to qualify for a two or, or a three bedroom. Yeah. And so the public and the public housing is only for families. It's not like single people can't apply for public housing. Because I remember a few years back when we changed some rules on Section Eight changed. Was that just Section Eight mm -hmm. when I mean how many uh, people per bedroom or right. something? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Is that, yeah, Heartbeats, no, two heartbeats per room. Around for, <laughs> was around for those days. <laughs> Which was, we debated quite a bit about yeah. that. Yes, we did. And it was uh, heart wrenching too <laughs> when we talked about heartbeats. So <laughs> We've been able to help more people by doing that. I'll, I'll make the motion to uh, open and have permission to accept new applications for the public housing program. Uh, I second it. Okay, it's been moved and seconded to approve resolution 2019-02 for the acceptance of two and three bedroom applications for public housing. All those in favor say aye. 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 And the opposed, same sign. Matt, I'll just need your signature on, if you want to keep yours, I can give you an, a clean copy. Oh. Hearing, uh, I think that's it. So do we have our date? Uh, yes, because this next one is our public hearing, so it'll be June seventeenth at four p.m. And that's our public hearing, so I need a quorum. I got it in my calendar already. Hmm. Okay, June seventeenth. Hearing no other discussion, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn. So moved. We're adjourned. <laughs> 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 <laughs>